Hey, Paul and Jenna are competing to see who's the better cook. They will have to cook whatever I make out of slime, and whoever loses gets a punishment. For this round, I'm gonna be making a rainbow sundae. So first, I'm starting out with a cloud base, and then I'm gonna dye it different colors. I'm gonna make this one pink, and there we go. And then I'm gonna make this one orange. Perfect, and lastly, I'm gonna make this one green. And done, now we're gonna put this all together, swirl it, and then I'm gonna add some ice cream scoops on top. Now I'm gonna swirl it together, put it in the container, and then I'm gonna add some ice cream scoops on top, and then we'll be all done. And done! This one I call a rainbow sundae. I wonder how they're gonna do with this one. It's pretty simple, but knowing you guys, you're probably gonna mess it up. Anyways, go ahead and choose your slime ball. Ooh, I'm gonna pick, oh, I see red on the outside of that one. I'm gonna go with this one. If you get a red slime ball, you get the bad kitchen. If you get a green slime ball, you get the good kitchen. Go. Here we go. Wait. <gasps> no! Wait, did you say the red is? No! Kitchen! This is gonna be interesting. Go, 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 go! Okay, so this should be very easy, but at the same time, it's probably, it's very hard because I know Amira's favorite things are rainbows. So I gotta get this perfect, but it's just ice cream. So like, I'm not gonna mess up ice cream. This is so cute already. All right, I'm supposed to make an ice cream and what is this place? Where am I? This is not a kitchen. Uh, this looks like a workshop. We've got tools. What am I supposed to do with that? We got a knife and we got a whisker. I think this is a kitchen. I think I'm in the right place. Let's get to work. I'm gonna make an ice cream. We, we do have an ice cream, so I, at least I got that. I gotta make three really big scoops. I thought this was gonna be easier, but I need to get those scoops to be perfect. Ice creams are simple. I don't need a fancy kitchen. I just need to get this in here. And one in the middle. Ah. Okay, wait, that's not gonna work. Let me try another thing. Maybe a hammer. Yeah. Hold on. That doesn't look like this slime. I got almost all the ice cream out. It's time to see if I can shape it nicely. Does this look like a ball? How do I make balls out of this? I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna roll it. Ah, it's so cold! I think I got a ball. And then the third one. I need three balls. Ah, okay, I'm done. We've got three balls in here. Done. There. Now I'm gonna have some syrup. There you go. No, she just likes to drizzle it. And she always yells at me and says like, Mom, you're not doing it right. Next, I gotta add the syrup. I gotta add a good amount to kinda hide everything. This is nice, this is, uh, I'm impressed. And it had some jelly beans. Thought this would've been easier. Now we carefully put the sprinkles. No! Wait, 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 that, that's actually good. It's covering all the little messes. I almost forgot the sprinkles! No, it's perfect. Next, we have the jelly beans. Now, these ones I'm gonna carefully place here. And done. And there's my ice cream. Honestly, I think I did a pretty good job for being in this kitchen. Let's see if I won this. Here's what you were supposed to make, a rainbow sundae. This is what you guys came out with. And right off the bat, I feel like there's one that's looking better so far, but maybe one tastes better, so we'll see. All right, we're gonna try. She's talking about mine. I think she's talking about mine, Bob. Mmm, good job. You got the sprinkles and the jelly bean and the ice cream. This is a really simple round, so if you guys mess it up, it's me. Wow, cold jelly beans do not, I don't like them. I just <laughs> copied, which I'm really good at. What did uh, you say? I mean, Paul's really good at copying, and he did do a good job this time. All right, let's try Paul's. Okay, yeah, wait, 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 I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't try one on the balls. Try the one on the bottom, right here. The ice cream on the bottom, I only touched it with a hammer. A what? A hammer. Okay, you know what? Just give me a second. I think I have the winner for this round. The winner is Jenna! I'm not telling you what I use anymore. Well, Jenna wins this round. Let's see what happens next round. This round, I'm feeling a little bit of ravioli, so let's get started. First, we got cloud. Done. This one, this one should be pretty easy, right? This round, we're going with something a little more cooking, but less crazy, honestly. We're making ravioli. This is so much better than the last one. Whoever catches this slime gets the good kitchen. Go! Oh. Oh. Hey, that's not fair. It went that way. I would have 
totally catched it if you didn't go that oh, way. Oh, please. I want to push you out of the way. I want the good kitchen for this good stuff. I better see some good stuff. Go, 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 go. Here we go. We got the good kitchen. What? Look at all this stuff. Oh, my gosh. Good little toaster. An air fryer. We are equipped with everything we need in this kitchen. Okay, I'm supposed to make a ravioli in this. This is a kitchen? I got fire in this kitchen? Oh, heck yeah. But this is controlled fire, unlike the other one. Woo, fire. Love it. Oh, okay, okay. Lighter fluid. I guess I just need to pour some of this on here and it should turn on. What kind of kitchen is this? What is this about? Is this like a prank? Oof, fancy. And cooking time. I'm just gonna put some of this in here. I think I should put a lot. And then it should turn on. How do you turn this on? <gasps> this. This is a lighter. Oh. I think I'm just gonna set this aside. I'm not gonna use this. I'm not used to this kind of lighter. And all done. Wow, that was easy. This kitchen is fantastic. Oh, this is already done. But I gotta warm up that sauce. Cause we want extra sauce. Here we go, we got the sauce. Oh, yes. Oh, 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 that got on me. Maybe if I put the pot on there and the ravioli on there. It turned on. It turned on! There's fire right here. This looks good, but I want to make it even better. I want to add some spaghetti, and I want to add some meatballs, and I want to add some cheese, and it's going to look absolutely delicious. Time for the noodles, but I want to need some water. Oh. It comes with water. I love this kitchen. Let's go. Maybe I should be more patient. We got bubbles. It's time for the noodles. You think I can make it in there? Yes. See if it's done. Yep, that looks done. That's perfect. I'm going to put a lot of cheese because I personally love cheese, and I know Mia loves cheese too. Next, we got meatballs and I got beef. But we're not gonna open it, smashing it this time because we got fancy knives in this modern kitchen. Oh, look at that. I can just cut it nice and, never mind. Fancy kitchen actually comes with everything to make meatballs. And it's time to mash. All right, and cooking time. Um, this looks pretty good. I'm pretty sure I'll still win. I'm done. This looks amazing. Now, we're not going to forget the cheese. Exactly like the slime. We got a little bit of cheese on top and finished. And so let's see if I won. And here it is. Okay. Why is the best? Best round, you were supposed to make ravioli. Pretty simple, right, guys? Let's see how you Wait, messed it up, Paul. Before, well, what? I already know you're going to mess it up somehow. No, I didn't mess it up. Actually, oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? I made extra. I made it so much better than just ravioli. I've added spaghetti and meatballs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how about, can we talk about how you made those meatballs? Did you touch these ones with your hands? I mean, I guess that's how you make meatballs. At least they're cooked, though. OK, let's try this out, though. OK, this looks like a pretty good ravioli. That's really cold. I mean, come on, you gave me a horrible kitchen. Okay, on Paul's we have spaghetti. Spaghetti on the bottom, That's and then in the middle you got the ravioli, and on top you got three ravioli. meatballs. You know what, I, I appreciate the creativity, Paul. Thank you. Mm. Not cold. Yeah, they're warm. Mm. I just with this hand and you're eating that. I don't even need Ugh. to disclose that information, yeah, all right? I don't care what you do with these balls, they're good. The winner of this round is Paul! Woo! Now we got one against one, I just need to win the rest of the rounds. I am very surprised, honestly, but you did have a good kitchen. Anyways, next round. This round, I'm gonna go a little crazy. I'm gonna do something I absolutely love, cotton candy burrito. This is really, really simple, but I think it came out super cute. I wonder what they're gonna come out with. So far, we're at a tie, and it doesn't seem like you're doing too well over there, but maybe this round will change. This round is a cotton candy burrito. There is a little tiny duck in this bowl of goop. Whoever finds it first gets a good kitchen. Go, go, go. I'm gonna find it. Ew, <laughs> no, ew, oh, ew, no, I don't even care. I don't even ew. care, I don't even care. I got it. Ah. Ah. He got the tiny duck. Good luck. 
Oh, go, 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 go! And we got the modern kitchen again. Oh my gosh, is this the cotton candy maker? Yes! I am so excited. Cotton candy, you need pink and you need blue, but you can't mix them together or it makes purple. So I'm gonna do one at a time. The only way you can be good at this is if you have an emotionless face. Okay, so I'm back at this disgusting kitchen. But I've made other kinds of burritos. This should be pretty simple. And I'm done. I've got enough cotton candy. So what you're supposed to do for this is squish it down like and make a tortilla out of cotton candy. We're gonna do one, two scoops. We're putting the entire thing in there. Flatten it out like a tortilla. Hey, you know what, this is working. Flatten out the ice cream. Watch this, guys. I'm gonna fold my burrito like this. Hey, this ugly kitchen wasn't so bad after all. Next, we got sprinkles. Boop, 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 boop. Can't forget the syrup. Choop, 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 choop. This looks good though. We're gonna hide the ugly side by putting it on the plate. So now we just have the prettyish side. And there's our burrito. Cotton candy burrito. Let's see if I won this. Here it is. Okay, I am actually excited for this one because it's a cotton candy burrito! Oh! No, no. Just look at this side. Just oh, look at this does side. It looks like that. When, <laughs> it looks like, like a, a zombie. Hey, you eating with a knife? What's wrong with the burrito? That disgusting. What's wrong with the burrito? Yeah. Let's get on to this one. Uh, that one, Paul, wasn't that good. See, mine, you can actually cut it and you can actually like eat it like a burrito. Oh my gosh, that actually looks really See, good. See, this is what I was expecting. It's a little like melted on the bottom, but that's okay. So what do you think? Mm. So what's the difference? What did I do it's wrong with my cotton candy? better. Yeah, this one is good and it's actually wrapped right. You're just like a zombie. It looks gross. I don't even know what the heck happened to the top. It tastes like dirt. You know what's the problem, Paul? You gotta be better. Anyways, for this round, Jello wins! And she had the bad kitchen, Paul. Wow. Yeah. You need to the step up your game. I can't believe it. Next round. <laughs> this round, I'm gonna go with a strawberry donut. Let's go. This time, we're using butter slime. Here's your slime for this round. You're making a strawberry donut. Whoever hits the X with the slime gets the good kitchen. Go, go, go! Are you ready? Three, two, one. Oh! oh you see that? You see that? Oh. Oh. It was almost there. It was almost there. I wanted to let you win. I'm ready to make this, but I'm very scared of opening this. Got it! I think this is all I need to do, and then I just need to put it in the fr in the fryer, which I'm very scared of fryers. By the way, this kitchen is so nice. It's so much better than the other kitchen, and it's pink, my favorite kind of kitchen. <gasps> okay, so this looks like a donut, right? So I'm just gonna put it in here very slowly. I wonder how Paul's doing in the other kitchen, because last time I was there, I had a horrible time, like a horrible time. Here we go again with the back kitchen, and what do we have here? Okay, I can work with charcoal. Wait, do we have anything else to warm up oil? Wait, how am I gonna cook a donut on charcoal? I feel like flames and oil shouldn't go together, but eh, we're gonna do it anyways. We got the lighter fluid, let's light this up. And woo! Now, I am starting to like this kitchen. I think I should make like two in case one doesn't come out right, and then the other one should come out better. I love this kitchen. This is like so much easier. This is the kitchen I belong in. Let's do the second one. In the meantime, I'm gonna cut some strawberries because I remember that Amira slime had like strawberries on the side. Charcoal is all done. Now let's place this oil on top and let it warm up. Okay, I can feel the heat. I can feel this is ready. Now I'm gonna open this and turn it into a donut. So we're gonna make a little hole down the middle and then we're gonna sploof it in there. Oh, yes, I can hear it sizzling. Here we go, it's all done. I can't believe this worked. It's all finished. Oh, look at that. Oh, heck yes. But you know what? While I'm at it, I might as well make more. Let's do this. Okay, now let's see if they're done. 
I never thought you could make donuts like this. It's so easy. I made two just in case one didn't come out, but they seem like they came out really good. Now I just gotta frost them, but I need, but this is white frosting, so I'm just gonna use my slime coloring to make it pink. And Amira made the donuts pink, my favorite color. I think she did it for me. And since I love sugar and candy, I'm gonna put a lot of frosting on this. And I know Amira's gonna love it because she loves a lot of frosting too. A lot of sugar, candy, chocolate, anything that's sweet. I don't know what Paul's gonna do over there, but this are turning out really cool. It is time for the frosting and the decoration, but we don't need this anymore, so let me just... Done. All right, now we can really focus on this. We're gonna get rid of the ugly ones, and then I wanna frost all the pretty ones. We're gonna frost these three. First thing I'm gonna do is dye this pink because the slime is pink, so we can't have a white frosting. Now I got this whisker, we're gonna whisk that. Uh, this is a lot harder than I thought. Wait a minute. All right, we're just gonna mix that up, and now it's all pink. Time for the details. Now for this, can I frost with this? Nah. I think what I'm gonna do is go with my finger because that's gonna be the best utensil I got in this kitchen. All I have is hammer and a whisker and a bunch of tools. So I'm gonna use my finger. I'm gonna grab a good amount and we're gonna grab this and just put it on top. Now you might think, this is gross, Paul. Why are you doing that? I'm gonna agree with you and I'm gonna say because I don't have a choice. I need to win this. Nobody tell Mira I put my finger all over her frosting. Two donut, honestly, this way of frosting is probably the best way to frost a donut. And I'm gonna put some little sprinkles. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. And I know she had like some strawberries on the side. And I am done, this is like, the best. I can't wait to show it to her. The cheap kitchen doesn't get sprinkles, but I have this frosting and I can make little polka dots. Next, we got strawberries here. How am I gonna cut them? All I have is a hammer and... I know. <sighs> yep, that's how you cut strawberries. There's a strawberry. There's another. We just need to cut that in half. Put it right here. Put it right there. I think I got my donuts pretty good here. I've got a variety of donuts. I got a pretty good chance at this. Let's see if I win this round. Here, there, oh. Oh, no, yeah, no. this is what I made. Isn't it amazing? That was mine. Give that back to me. You can have yours back. Thank you. Well, how did you make that in the good kitchen? Well, you know, I've kind of like never made donuts before and I've never like definitely didn't use a fryer because that's like not healthy and they kind of fried it too much and... Okay, this round you were supposed to make this strawberry donut and this is what you guys made. Wow, I'm so close to it actually. Uh, that is good. That looks delicious, what? I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't seem like the good kitchen isn't so good after all. Because you have to be creative in the bad kitchen. Okay, let's try this. We got the good kitchen. What did you do to your donut? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least the strawberries aren't stuck. Okay. Blech. Oh. We're just not gonna talk about mine anymore. And let's talk about your beautiful donuts. Just ignore mine, okay? Okay, now we have pa Paul's donuts. See, it's falling apart. They both taste pretty good. However, going off the looks wise, I think Paul has to take the win for this round. What? Did you hear that? In the bad kitchen. In the bad Let's go, bad kitchen. That's okay. Because they're really good. This round, I'm kind of feeling mashed potatoes and like chicken, so let's go. If they get it wrong, then they must be really bad. This round is pretty simple. We're just doing mashed potatoes and chicken. Okay, okay. That doesn't mean you guys can't mess it up, so still try hard. For this last one, you're gonna do rock, paper, scissors to see who gets good kitchen. Go, 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 go! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Okay, so I need to make mashed chicken and mashed potatoes, and I love mashed potatoes. I always make mashed potatoes, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna win this round. Chicken, I don't know. I've never breaded anything, but I have everything here, so it should be pretty simple, right? Like, so it says to put two cups, whoops, 
to boiling water and it's already boiling. So one and two and a little bit of milk. Even though I hate milk, I know it's gonna taste better if I put a little bit. Okay, now I'm just gonna mix it. And I started with my mashed potatoes because I felt like it was gonna take forever. So I'm gonna move it from there. I don't know how to turn that off. And I don't want them to burn because I really, really wanna win this. Okay, and I'm done with the mashed potatoes. They came out so good. Now I'm gonna work on my chicken. Okay, I'm back in the bad kitchen. And well, you know what? I don't think it's that bad, especially when we're making chicken. Oh, I'm so ready for this. I just need to bring the grill back. It's still hot, guys. <laughs> okay, we got it back. All right, now we just need to season this bad boys and put it on the grill and we're gonna get some delicious chicken. There's no way you can get better tasting chicken than from a grill. We got some salt, some pepper, some paprika, garlic powder. This thing, I don't, what is this? Carolina Reaper, why am I? Oh no! It's gonna be a little spicy. I think we'll be fine. It's just adding flavor. Now let's add this on top of here. Okay, and there we go. Woo! That is how you know this is cooking to perfection. <coughs> That's a lot of spice! <coughs> now we wait. So I'm just going to grab it and I'm gonna put it in milk because I googled it and it said that's how you did it. And I'm gonna do three. I know Amira loves to eat and she's gonna love mine. Okay, now I'm just gonna put my chicken like I did with my donuts. Put it in there and let it cook. Let's check on this chicken if it's ready. Oh, you can see the smoke. I can smell the flavors coming out. Oh, this is looking very good. I'm, I'm, uh... nope, not ready because it's bouncing back at me. We're gonna wait a little bit longer. And three, two, one. Whoa, no way. The bounce test, let's go. No bouncing, it's ready, let's do this. Oh yeah, this is nice. And now I just gotta work on the mashed potato and I'll be all done. Okay, and I think this is done. How do I take this out? This doesn't seem very breaded. What happened? I, I Googled it and it said put milk and this little crumbs, whatever they're called. I'm done with that. It smells really, really good. I wish you guys could smell it. Now I'm gonna grab my plate and I'm gonna prepare it. I'm gonna make it look so nice. I'm gonna put a lot of mashed potatoes. I think I'm totally gonna win this one. Just look at this. It looks so pretty and it smells so good. I don't think I've ever made mashed potato from powder. What? They have mashed potato powder? But I don't think that's gonna make mashed potatoes. Let me read the instructions here. We got heat, water, butter, salt, boil. What? I gotta get water. Okay, get some water. I don't have any water. Uh, all right, I'll be right back. Okay, we got water. Now we just need to boil it. I'm just gonna put, ah, I'm not gonna do that. Plastic's gonna melt. What is this pan? Tiny, ah. All right, now we wait till it boils. It's boiling, let's do this. We got powder, I, oh, oh, I didn't read the instructions. How much powder? Oh, I don't know, we'll just put it. To, wow, this is like instant snow. This is, this is literally instant snow, guys. What, you eat this? I usually eat potatoes from like a potato, not from a, from powder. Oh, oh, wait a minute. No way. Oh, oh, no way. This made mashed potatoes. Let me mash it down. I have an idea here. Oh, look at that. It's a nice shape for um, mashed potatoes. Let's give it a quick taste though. Not bad. I'm kind of impressed. This is pretty good. Then we got the gravy. Oh, yes. Okay. The more gravy, the merrier, and we got our plates. I think I made a plate fit for a king. Let's see if I won this round. Here we go. Look at this beauty, Amira. This round, you were supposed to make fried chicken and mashed potatoes. Let's try this out. All right, we got the potatoes. You sure you don't wanna try this first? You should leave the best for last. No, I'm gonna try this one. 
Okay, let's get on to this mashed potatoes over here with Paul's. Try those out. Like They're delicious. Uh, nope, nope. We all know that Paul's has horrible And cups. you got the good kitchen, right? I got the beautiful kitchen, yeah. And that's why mine is so good. Yeah? Okay. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, time to try the chicken. Mmm, yummy. Okay, now try that chicken. Yes, yes, that go ahead. That one's a little burnt. Let's try Paul's. Mm. Cooked to perfection. That tastes good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. I know, oh I know. My God. So, wait, so so far you like the mashed potatoes and the chicken more, oh. it looks like. Yours is really freaking good. Yeah. Okay, well, this last round is gonna decide who is the winner and who is going to get the punishment. Oh, and I have a good feeling about this one. Yeah. And the winner for this competition is... Already. Da -da 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 you what? In your face! Barely I, tasted like anything. I want. Honestly, like yours, like, I don't even know. You need some salt. But I did ask for fried chicken, and that is grilled, so. <laughs> no! I forgot! Yep, you did. Time to get slime. Are you ready, Paul? Nope. You ready to get slime? No. Yeah? No! Three! Two, ah. one! Oh, ah, 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 that's horrible! It oh looks my God. really pretty though. What kind of slime is that? My eyes are closed shut for sure. And here's your thousand dollars. Yes! I'm going shopping. Okay, bye guys. Bye Where's Paul. the sink? I can't see anything. Guys! I'm dripping! Can somebody give me some water? Let's see. What? Ah! 